Hey everyone, so today I decided to do a video based around my outfit, which is from Pop Basic. I was really inspired by like the red tones in the outfit and I decided to do a makeup look to match the necklace, I guess. So if you want to see how I did that, then just stay tuned. I'm starting off with my foundation, so priming first of course, and then I'm applying the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and then I kind of realized a little bit after this that it was far too pale because I just got a spray tan. Um, so I decided to go on top with my L'Oreal True Match. Is this called True Match? Yes it is. Okay, sorry, I'm just doing a voiceover in advance and I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just using an XO Beauty flat top brush to apply this all over my face and buff it into my skin. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer and powder to set everything. All of the products I'm using right now will be, as always, listed in the down bar. And I'll try to find some links for you guys as well if you are wondering where you can buy it. These are the greatest things on earth. If you like the Lime Crime liquid lipstick, whatever they're called, things, these are like the same thing but really cheap. And they're from Australis and they're called Villa Lips. So I'm applying the red one to match the necklace that I'm going to be wearing. And then I'm also going around the outside with this like flesh colored um, eyeliner pencil thing from NYX. It's basically like a three-in-one you can use on your face, lips, eyes, wherever. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. brow kit just to define my brows. After you've primed your lids, you can take the light colours from the L'Oreal Pro palette or anything similar that you already own and just put that on your brow bone. And then I'm taking the plain white and putting this all over the lid. Then take a medium brown with a big fluffy brush here, Zeus. I'm proving to you right now that these lip things are non-transferable, like, he got nothing on him. Anyway, um, just put that fluff, that fluffy colour, the brown colour, on your fluffy brush in your crease. I'm like the world's best voiceover person ever, if you couldn't tell already. I'm so pro. Then just take a darker brown and add this into the outer crease, so not all the way in, just on that outer V kind of area. And then after that, take a black and concentrate that on the outer V entirely. If you don't want to use a black, you can use a dark brown. I'm also taking that black eyeshadow just underneath the lash line and blending that out. You can use an eyeliner if you want, but I just wanted to use a shadow because it's a little bit less harsh. Now because my face is still kind of too pale, so don't bother commenting down below because I already know, but I'm just bronzing up my face a bit with this big XO Beauty bronzing brush and Casino, no. That's non casino, that's Laguna. Nas Laguna bronzer. And I'm also going to contour with that. She just wants to fall in love. It's like all she's thinking. Because of the style of the dress plus the red necklace, I was feeling very pin-up inspired, so I decided to do a winged eyeliner look. So I'm just putting that on, and then I'm going to put on my mascara, brow gel blah 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 and some false eyelashes. This blush here is my absolute favourite for when I am wearing a bold lip so I'm just applying that onto my cheeks. It's very neutral and doesn't distract. And then I'm using a little bit of this Bare Minerals powder concealer under my eyes just to brighten them up and make myself look really wide awake. And I'm highlighting, but first I'm going to apply some Fix Plus to my brush just so that it's really, really intense. I wanted a really intense highlighter. Now 
Now for my hair, I'm basically just going to straighten it. So I'm using my GHDs. These are like eight years old. I swear they're so old. My Tresemme Heat Protectant Spray, which is my absolute favorite. It's cheap and it works amazing. And my Tangle Teaser. I always forget what those are called. So I'm just kind of parting my hair, I guess, splitting it in half. I'm going to do the bottom layer and then I'm going to work, 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 work my way up into the top layer. I'm just going to straighten it all the way because I love straight hair. So this is a better look at the final makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I really ended up liking it and I absolutely love these velour lips because they just do not move. So my Pop Basic um, box, I will write more information about this kind of website down below if you're interested. But I absolutely love this belt, I've worn it a few times now. And then it came with this dress and it came with a necklace also. So I'm basically just going to style all of this. This is what inspired my makeup look for today. The three main pieces are from Pop Basic and then my kimono is from Windsor Store. And my shoes are from Go Jane, I think. I got them a really long time ago. You can make this look even more wearable by swapping the red necklace for a gold one. I really liked this look as well. So that was my outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the kind of like matching your clothes to your lipstick idea. Let me know if you want to see more of these. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!